So this is my drowning rod setup. I use a half inch, 10 foot section of rebar. I've got these drowning locks. That's just a one inch square tube cut into an inch, inch and a half section and then a piece of angle welded on the side with a hole drilled in that allows it to go down the rod but not come back up to lock in place. And this is part of a, uh, a Bowers, it's called a Bowers no well drowning system. You can buy these locks individually or you can buy the bolt-on kit that goes on to your rod that will keep from um, where you don't have to weld it on. Then I also use some large uh, 5 8 inch nuts a large 5 8 inch nut and a couple of large fender washers. So the fender washers, I put one on top so that I can stake it off with my T-bar stake. And you want them big enough for your T-bar stake and you also want it big enough and stout enough that you can weld that to your rebar. So for the top, the top end, I just weld it right on, right on the edge of the rebar. And for the, for the bottom end, for my stop, I'll take, I'll take my nut and slide it on about a foot. And I like the 5 8 because they're, they're a little bit snug, but they still slip on fairly well. Slide it on, and you want to put a, Just for security reasons, I like to throw this extra washer on there before I slide in on. But I slide it on there about a foot, then weld those in place. That'll be at the bottom, so you can stick the bottom part of the rod in the mud, and then uh, you still got your stop for your lock. And it winds up looking like that. You see, I got my, my washer and my, my, uh, my nut welded on there. And like I say, then, you know, in between there, you want this, this drowning lock, and that's all there is to it. And like I said, you can, you can Google Bowers No Well Drowning System, or I'll put a link on this video. You can go to one of my blog posts, and it'll have some links to these different things. Minnesota Trapline Products sells the No Weld System, so if you don't have a welder, it's got the top and the bottom where you can just bolt that on instead of welding it on, so it's pretty handy. Um, but I really like my drowning rods.